What's up guys? Another vlog. Um, today we're going grocery shopping and um, taking you guys out, seeing what I get uh, uh, shop for food and um, how much I eat in a week and stuff like that, you know. Um, I'm not going to into going into details on how much I eat of what. Um, on this video, I'm going to do that on a later video with my nutrition plan that I'm working on at, as we speak. Um, other than that, um, yeah, I'm at 292 now, uh, two, 292 pounds, two, that's 132.7 kilograms and my condition is, um, is uh, sticking. Um, I'm not... Uh, um, I'm not getting water retention, staying fairly lean in the face and um, yeah, still got veins on my chest. Um, two days off from the gym and um, I'm really feeling full and, um, and everything is going better than planned. I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making and, um, and the journey so far, reaching the 300 LPS is, um, is just better than expected actually. Um, I'm feeling very healthy and um, my breathing is perfect. I don't have any problems. I ran up the fifth floor yesterday. I live on the fifth floor. I ran up the flight of stairs from bottom up. So that's that's a-okay for me. Um, other than that, I just, um, before we go grocery shopping, I um, I was on Instagram and I, um, I saw a, a post um, from my boy Adam Pass. He's um, with Dynamic Muscle and um, he uh, he just made a joke about um, a, a, a new athlete or ambassador at their company repping uh, five percent nutrition uh, with a T-shirt and um, you know just um, it really um, it really um, it really made me feel grateful in um, in a very very positive way this. Um, um, seeing stuff like that and realizing that um, less than three years ago, um, no, a little, a little over three years ago, maybe three and a half, three, three years and three months ago, I was released from prison, um, and now I got two companies going and um, working with clients all over the world and doing expos and got so many fans and followers. It just, um, I'm really, really grateful and. Um, and um, realizing stuff like that, you know, um, even on social media is um, it's a really, really big thing, um, emotional-wise for me. And um, just realizing how far I've come and how far away I was at some point in my life from where I am now, and the journey that um, that I've taken is. Um, it's just mind blowing for me. Looking back, realizing where where I was at at, at the worst point and where I'm now, at um, at my very best point in life, and I'm uh, it's just a humbling and grateful, overwhelming feeling. Um, you know, it's just um, it's hard to put words on. Uh, and stuff like that, especially in a, another language than my own, and um, and just um, you know this when I when I was when I was released from prison th three years or some months ago, I was um, it was end of 2012, and um, and I was released from prison at that point after doing a combined sentence of four years over two two sentences. Um, and I, um, and I got released in uh, late 2012, and um, and I didn't know where to go in my life, and uh, I um, I started uh, I started uh, up where I left, I think, and um, and I went to a car show where I um, when I where I ran into some. Norwegian guys actually, and they beat the living shit out of me. So I went to the hospital um, with a concussion and uh, memory loss, and I was just getting back into training at that point. 
So I had to reset the clock and uh, I went to the hospital and was in bed for two weeks, I think. And um, after that I had six, six, uh, six to eight weeks of memory loss where I couldn't, I couldn't um, hold on to anything in my, in my head and uh, I had a hard time speaking and I had an even harder time training because I had so much back pain and um, and I at that point I found um, I found um, some comfort in uh, Kai Green. I found him on YouTube at that point in in the summer of 2013, um, and I just um, I found some uh, something that I could relate to in his story, in his life story, and uh, and I used it positively to just um, to to recognize in my own life that I had a chance to turn it around and um, if he could do it in the in the States with his background so could I and um, I, re I realized that um, and fulfill it, ful fulfilled it for myself. Um, now I'm a sponsored athlete by 5% nutrition and um, and I met Kai at uh, two occasions and told him my story once and I did a follow-up with him where I talked um, to him in person. Um, we had a good chat at uh, Body Power in England uh, 2015 where Adam Pass, as I just mentioned, uh, he's, his, um, he's his manager now and, um, and he came over to my booth and um, where I was at 5% nutrition. And uh, he said, "Come, let's go to uh, let's go and say hi to Kai." And um, we went, and I had a good t a talk with him, and um, just um, just some self reflection over the stuff that has been going on, and uh, and uh, where where I have been, and where I am now, and just it's, I think it's inc incredible for me personally to think about this. I just, um, this post on Instagram just made me, uh, made me somewhat um, emotional in this relation to this, um, this guy, Adam. He's just, yeah, he's, if you haven't met him, he's just a one of a kind, super cool, down to earth guy. I just love him and he's, um, he's just a real guy, you know? Um, and um, so uh, just some thoughts on that and um, a little story time from me uh, to you guys, sharing a little bit of what has happened. Uh, over the last three years or so uh, since I got out of jail and um, yeah, as some of you know, yeah, I'm, I am sponsored by 5% Nutrition. I'm happy to be there and I love being part of the team. And I also got my own um, web shop going where I resell 5% Nutrition products and my own t-shirt, uh, somfb slash nutrition.com and, um, and I got my client service going uh, where I coach. Uh, online coaching and do personal trainings in Denmark too, um, and I'm uh, I'm just grateful to be alive and I'm grateful to have the opportunity to sit here and tell you guys, whoever is watching, um, sharing my story with you and uh, having the privilege to do that. It's um, it's not a, it's not a it's not something that. Um, that most are lucky enough to do, I think. Um, sadly enough, most people that um, that uh, that uh, take that uh, you know that turn in life, uh, most people don't get back from it, and most people don't get a chance to come back from it. And um, I just want to express my emotional um, gratitude and um, and uh, gratefulness um, for for where I am now and where I've been. Um, but I wouldn't trade my background away from for anything. I'm happy that I that I have the bad past that I have and um, and that I can share it with you guys and maybe some some young king, young, young kid out there is uh, is at a crossroad in his own life and takes the right path because uh, jail is just fucking bullshit and waste of time. So go lift weights and be a fucking bodybuilder instead. That was uh, that was my life plan and that's what I'm doing now. But uh, jail got in the way, four years lost, never get that back. But um, I'm doing my best to to um, to get every, um, every, every, um, every, every time, every second of every day 
to account for the best, not not just with the gym, but in life in general. You know, with everything I do, I just want to you know live with passion, live like live with passion, love my life, and and uh, just um, and just enjoy it, uh, enjoy the people that I meet, and uh, yeah, just make the best of it all, um, both personal progress wise and business wise and everything like that. So that's it for now. Namaste, motherfucker. Peace.